the writer producers have sat us down and explained everything and answered all of our questions uh, as best they could. I mean, honestly, after that hour and a half, we still didn't understand 100% of it. And it's one of those things like high school physics where when you're in the, the classroom with the teacher, you're getting it, but then two hours later, you don't get it again. And, and uh, 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 you know, there was a scene early in the show uh, with Jack Shepard uh, on the airplane, and he goes to the bathroom, and he comes back, and there is Desmond, one of the characters, sitting, and then he gets up again and goes back, and Desmond is missing. And so all, you know, if, I, I, I'm not going to go into what the myth particular mythology was, but, you know, I had the wrong idea uh, about what the, the, the contrast between these two worlds, the... the, the uh, this, the sixth season was showing, and I thought that the fact that Jack came back to a seat and now suddenly Desmond is gone was an indication that there had been some kind of fold in time, and this was an example of it. And so I kind of like said to Damon and Carlton, the writer producer who's sitting behind me, oh, well, the fact he's there one minute and then he's gone the next, so some you know wrinkle in time happened and he disappeared because in the parallel time, some event happened, and, you know, uh, they looked at each other like I had just said that their, you know, children were stupid. <laughs> and, 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 you know, realized that this was something that they would have to deal with after the fact when the real story was they could only get the actor, Ian Cusick, for one day because he had other <laughs> obligations, and so they only had time to write him into this one section of the the film and this whole kind of other, and there were there were lots and lots of things in the course of six years because, you know, television goes at a really fast pace and it's not about figuring out every the solution to every problem. It's about figuring out as many solutions as you can before the cameras have to roll. So how worried would you be about making sure because the mythology was so important part part of the. You know, the hype of Lost was people being able to talk about it afterwards and right. what all these little details meant and everything. And obviously the writers spent a lot of time figuring those things out. How, how conscious of all that were you worried about it in the editing process to get that right? In the first few seasons, I think they were very concerned about it. But after a while, I think, you know, our, our, the, 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 uh, you know, the, the new car sheen of Lost wore off uh, and, you know, the people that were going to watch it to the end were there and they got less concerned about, you know, explaining every little thing or, you know, creating um, consistency in the story, you know, and, and they just kind of like let it fly. <laughs> more than that. Talk about uh, the security measures on the finale. This was one of the, you know, most anticipated episodes of TV in the last decade probably and, and there were from what I hear, were tons of security right. measures right. put in place. Not it's all of which worked. <laughs> it's hard enough to do this job under the time constraints. What what were the security measures that you had to deal with as an editor? Well, every script, every page of every script was watermarked with your name on it. So, uh, you know, if, if you left it at uh, Starbucks and it made its way to the internet, they knew who to blame. And, you know, none of us ever including the showrunners, ever let family members watch episodes of the show, which is kind of unusual because a lot of times you rely on your spouse, you know, your family's feedback because you get so close to something, you want to have somebody else look at it and see what they think. But, you know, all of us were kind of very kind of tuned into the idea that the information was only for us and everybody wanted the experience of sitting with their, you know, family or wh whoever watching the show as it ran, you know, the night that it ran for America and getting their reaction to it. So, you know, nobody knew, the objective was that nobody would know anything until it went on the air. Uh, 